What's up adventure travellers and good morning from Hoi An Been in Hoi An for a couple of days Checking the place out and just having a bit of a relax Catching up on editing and that sort of stuff Now it's time to hit the road Got a big trip ahead of us today Six hour ride time So probably uh, eight, eight and a half hour day It's just gone 8.30 A little bit later than I'd hoped hoping to be on the road by 8 a.m. but that's okay it's making the way through the traffic in Hoi An and hopefully be out past the city in no time at all And we're on the outskirts of Hoi An. Today's not going to be the longest ride in terms of distance uh, that I've done. That was a 340 kilometer ride. I think that was day two when I was trying to get out of the middle of nowhere. That was about five and a half hours, but today is six hours, even though it's a shorter distance, just shy of 300 k's. Probably because I'm going along the coast and going through towns and cities the average speed is slower so I'm definitely going to be sore by the end of the day and I'm going to be looking forward to getting off this tiny little bike but anyway that's what I've got and it's quite nice up on this bridge smoggy view as usual there's some sort of big buildings in the distance, big highway ahead and that looks like a big housing complex on the right there all very interesting anyway back to the road just checking out this trendsetter in front of me with this blue camo gear haven't seen that before pretty stylish bro she's a big old road this one not as big as Australian roads but I can see these uh, these lampposts as far as the eye can see straight down the line so I've been going down this highway and they've got these random graves a sort of graveyards but not sometimes there's only a handful you can see there's a few here scattered around but um, Pretty sure that grows. Random. Something pretty big going up there. Who knows what it is? Okay, just about two hours away from destination, and the route has taken us as close to the coast as I've been today. Here we go. Beach. Wow, look at that, she's freaking lovely out there. Oh. Wow. All the way to the horizon. The winds. Skies. I'm not sure what these renders. Usually start off on, I'm not sure. Don't think he's actually part of the police. But uh, anyway, business doesn't look too good for the poor old vendors. There's no one out here getting a suntan. It's the beach in Vietnam. First time I've been on the beach. Looks like we've got some sort of fishing fleet going on just come from the beach this is the river or the estuary tucked in behind and uh, can't say I'd be rushing out to get a job on one of these boats but it's interesting seeing them all tucked in together there's more on the other side over there not so many on this side but yeah
interesting little uh, fishing fleet back on the road. Right, I've come over the, over the hills and there's all these ponds along the shoreline. I'm sure they're fish farms of some description, but yeah, it's very interesting. As you can see, there are a few back on the other side, but there's tons of them here. The things you see here, All the way along the coast. Wow! Look at that! Okay, about an hour away from Queen On. And I don't know exactly where we are. Maybe this is a little town, but maybe you can hear me better with my visor down. Sometimes you just come around the corner and bang, there's a view right in your face. Fishing boats on that, that side. Got the ocean on that side. Not bad. Just passing through some marble-like rock structures. Interesting little bit of highway. Looks like they've cut through the rock here. And there's the water again. Wow. Oh, we've got some wind turbines in the distance. Oh, there are people swimming in the water. There you go. And I'm heading into the hills, not along the coast. I guess it's the quickest way. Not far to go now to Queen Queen On. I think that's how you say. Some quite nice mountains there. Nice way to end the day. Here you go, here's some big old wind turbines kicking over. Just like the ones in South Australia. I think the ones in South Australia might have been a bit bigger than that. But anyway, there's some more there up on the hill. Reminds me of those pictures you see of North Korea of the roads around Pyongyang with nobody on them. It's just all a little bit surreal. But apparently there's a bridge that takes you over a stretch of water to the main township, so that shouldn't be far away. Well, we're definitely heading in the right direction. The billboard there says it all. Welcome to Hui Non. And yeah, it does look a little bit man-made, but I guess we'll see soon enough. Okay, here's the bridge I saw on the map. Let's get into the scooter lane. Oh, it's quite pretty with the sun going down. That looks like it over there. It feels very bizarre. It's a 
a bit of wind on this bridge so I better concentrate on looking forward Ooh, it's a bit gusty everyone's going pretty slow they don't want to get blown about I'm getting blown about Jesus it would be nice to be able to have a look at the view but I'm getting thrown around a bit by the wind <sighs> glad to be off their bridge Here we are at the beach at Cunon, it's a bit windy, so I'll hopefully try and get the wind taken off the audio in post-production. It's a pretty popular place, There's lots of locals or holiday makers on the beach. As you can see, it's a pretty big beach, lots of big hotels down there. And you've got your soccer nets. A restaurant down there and plenty of people on the promenade I'm not sure what this big thing is but it's quite decorative and there's a little park there as well people swinging their legs thinking that they're exercising when they're not but all in all it's a pretty nice spot quite a few people in the water even though it's not the sunniest day on on the planet just do another panorama some big hotels down that end here's the CBD with the sun going down behind it and there we go so beach time in Vietnam why not I'm just in the park next to the beach and I think this is a resort town and maybe convention center town as well saw a big old saw a big old convention center on the way in so maybe that's it she's a pretty busy little spot that's for sure hello girls out doing their jazzercise <laughs> hello everybody loves to be on camera don't they got a food alley like the one in the old quarter in Hanoi but this one's a bit more street foody like cook it in front of you street foody all that ready to go can't see any parlangis like me it's just locals by the looks of it Smells pretty good though. There's some big construction going on in town, as you can see. So it's all going on in QAnon, or Queen Non, however you say it. And as always, there's the flagpole with the yellow star. Okay, here's a very impressive statue of Ho Chi Minh and his father. It might be a bit hard to see with the sun going down, but... It's got to be about 50 feet tall and it's got his name and his father's name on the base of it Ho Chi Minh had up to 200 names apparently Ho Chi Minh is the one he's best known for but it's not his birth name I don't do karaoke very often but I reckon this is the joint to do it at check it out that's pretty insane for a karaoke joint Good to be out of the wind and get that crazy hair under control.
I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that little glimpse of Queen On. The exciting news is we've had a couple more donations over the last few days, so we're now at 10,450. Thank you to those donors, Matthew and Martin. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider donating to the IHC. The IHC looked after the intellectually disabled community in New Zealand. More information can be found at twowheelstoeverywhere.com, ihc.org.nz. And if you would like to contribute, you can go to my Give a Little page. All the links are in the description below. All donations go directly from Give a Little to the IHC. As always, thanks for tuning in. Travel safe. See you on the road.